Hello everyone, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and I'm so excited that you could join me today. I have another fun project to share with you today and today's project features the A Little Something stamp set by Stampin' Up. Um, this stamp set is on our retiring product list. If you have not seen um, that retiring list, I will link it below. Um, I have a direct link below the video in the description bar and it will take you straight to my blog post where you can download um, that list and check out all of the products that will be retiring soon. So let me go ahead and share with you what our project today looks like. So here's the project we're making today. I think it is so cute and it's just a fun and thoughtful way to share how thankful you are or how grateful you are for anyone in your life, whether it be family, friends, coworkers, whoever. Just a thoughtful little treat um, to share during this Thanksgiving holiday. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make these. So I'm starting with some of our Into the Woods Designer Series paper. Um, this is in our holiday catalog. I have cut this down to 4 inches by 5 inches and then I scored at 2.5. And, and when you cut down your uh, designer series paper, you're going to have a 1 inch by 4 inch piece left over. And I just flipped it over to the opposite side just to give a little um, contrasting pattern. So I'm going to adhere this right in the center on the front part of our topper. And I'm just going to use some snail adhesive. So this is a great way to use up your designer series paper scraps so that you don't waste any materials. Okay, so now I've got some, this is our, ah, where is it, um, stitch satin ribbon and this is in the Tangelo Twist. I think the stitch satin is my favorite so far of all of our ribbon. I just really love it. So I'm going to, actually I'm going to start from over here, I'm just going to wrap it around um, my topper and just tie a knot. And I just want this ribbon to be in the center of that contrasting pattern. There we go. Okay, so I've got my ribbon exactly how I want it. So I'm going to take my treat bag here, and I've already filled it with um, my mixed nuts. And this treat bag um, is found in our annual catalog. Um, these are our 4x6 cellophane bags, and you get 50 in a pack. Really great deal. So I've already filled it, and I'm just going to take my topper and slide it right on top, just like that, and I'm going to staple it down and I'm going to staple that ribbon down as I do it just to keep it from kind of hanging loose. If you have our handheld punch you can use that or you can use um, just a regular stapler. And you will not see this staple. Well that didn't staple right. Try that again. There we go. And you will not see this staple because we are going to cover that up. So next I'm going to take some early espresso cardstock and my uh, 2 and 3 eighths inch scallop circle punch. And I'm going to punch out the scallop circle. Then I'm going to take a scratch piece of Whisper White cardstock, my early espresso ink. And I'm going to stamp the Grateful For You from that um, A Little Something stamp set. Stamp that right in the middle. Okay. And now I'm going to take my 1 and 3 fourths inch circle punch. 
I'm going to center that in there. And punch that up. Perfect. And then I'll just go ahead and adhere my grateful for you to that little scallop circle. There we go. So next, um, I took a piece of old olive cardstock and I used this little leaf punch uh, or leaf die. This is from the um, square pillow box thinlets dies and I ran it through my Big Shot once to get the three leaves punched out. Then I slid it down like this and ran it through again to get two more leaves punched out and that way I have a strip of five leaves and we're going to be adding this on right there on the side and I'm just going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue. Let me see that again. I'm going to put it right here, so right there and there I need glue. Just a little bit here and here. Okay, and we'll just add that right on. And that dries pretty quickly. Okay. Then I'm going to take... Oops, I'm dropping stuff. Then I'm going to take some of our gold glimmer paper and my, where is it, here it is, and my acorn builder punch, and I'm going to punch out one of these acorns, just like that, and then I'm going to add this acorn at an angle right there. So I'm just going to flip that over, and I'm going to use a little bit of Fast Fuse. Give it a flick, and we'll just add that right here, kind of at an angle. Perfect. And now I will whew, glue it down to my table. And now I will flip that over, and we will just add four dimensionals here on the back. I'm just going to put this right here under my ribbon. Add that right on. And there it is. Grateful for you. Cute little Thanksgiving treat bag topper. Let's bring in our original. So there we go. This project really is quick and simple and it doesn't require very many supplies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Um, if you would like to purchase any of the things you saw me use um, on today's project, I have a link below that will take you to the coordinating blog post and I have a full supply list over there as well as the dimensions for this project and you can order any of those supplies by visiting my online Stampin' Up! store. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you again soon and happy Thanksgiving!